Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. The second episode of Growing in Vertical Towers is a sponsored video and it's sponsored by Promix. Today I'm going to show you how to plant up a five-tier tower to grow dwarf, determinate type tomatoes, and a ton of basil. This is going to be my tomato and basil tower. Now the whole key to success for container gardening, and you've heard me talk about this often, is having the right mix in there that's going to hold water and let the root systems grow extremely well. I highly recommend Promix products. I've been using them for well over a decade. This is their garden mix and the beauty of this product is that it can be used in single containers of course, also in your vertical towers, but you can use it directly in your raised beds and you can use it as a starting mix. So this product covers all the bases. If I'm going to recommend a single product, this is what I recommend because you can use it throughout your entire garden. I also like the product because it's compressed so it saves on the amount of plastic that's dumped into the environment. It's very easy to handle. The plastic can be recycled. It's made out of peat moss, cocoa core, perlite. It has mycorrhizae in there and it's just a wonderful mix for your garden. So let me get this set up. I'll show you how I built the bottom of the tower. The whole key for the tower is we're going to put our heavier tomatoes, the ones that get two to three feet tall on the bottom. This way they weigh the bottom down and it's less likely to fall over. So we're planning the tower up with determinate variety tomatoes. This is a determinate variety tomato, which means it's going to get to a set height, produce all of its flowers, and then produce the fruit and then die back. And it stays to a set height versus the indeterminate variety tomatoes that can get six feet, seven feet, eight feet tall. You don't want to grow those in towers. So you can pick any of the determinate type tomatoes you want that don't get beyond three feet. So the tomatoes that are getting two to three feet tall went in the bottom, the bottom two, and I'm going to put some in here. And that's just because they're going to get bigger. That weight of the fruit will be down at the bottom. The tower won't tip over. We're also going to tuck in different types of basil. This is pretty much your standard. And then I have, this is a uh, Thai basil. It's a little bit spicy. And I also have a purple basil that will go in there. And nothing beats really tomato and basil salads. This is a better bush. This is a bigger tomato. So you don't just have to do this and think you're just going to get cherry tomatoes. You can get four ounce, six ounce fruits. This is the premium pro mix product. And again, I just want to show it to you. This is just beautiful for containers and for your garden. It has mycorrhizae in there, which will build a relationship with the root systems of your plants. It's a fungi and it will help them develop and grow, but we do need to put in fertilizer. So I fill my containers typically halfway. You can see this in a previous video already put in one or two handfuls of any granular organic fertilizer. And I also throw in some worm castings. You don't have to add the worm castings if you don't want to. One or two handfuls and you want to mix it through. The Promix product is not overly saturated so you're not paying for water weight. You're just getting a great product to fill your containers. Once you mix it in and what that means is I recommend giving it a good soaking now while the top is open in the container. Let that soak in. That's enough uh, water and fertilizer to get this started. You want to top the container off almost to the top when using these green stalk towers. And you can check the video description for more information about the Promix product and how they're a sponsor. You want to also press this in. You don't want it to be super loose. You want a nice dense planting base for your plants. Now the two to three foot tomato plants are going to go in the bottom. And for those, I would only put in three plants. There's six pockets for planting. So every other one is going to be a bigger determinate type tomato plant with basil in between. And we can also do this with seeds. I'll talk about if you want to do this by seeds, I'll talk about that at the end of the video. And then I'll also give you a quick tour on how the rest of the towers are doing. So this is the better bush and you just Pick the pocket you want, push the soil back, put a little bit up front there, and then just drop it in sideways so that's sticking out. Then you come back and you push it in, and it's really that simple. This is a patio choice. So that's going to go over here. And I will plant up this whole section so you can just see how quick and easy it is. 
Again, put some material back there, turn this on its side. You can cover the stems of tomato plants because they're vines, they will actually root out, so it'll be okay. The basil, it's gonna go right next to it. This one is your standard Italian large leaf. It's gonna go in this way, pointing out. Over here, we'll put in maybe the purple basil. This is purple ruffles. And actually, to save you some time, I won't plant up the entire thing. I'll finish that in a second. And then I'll show you how I assemble it, and we'll talk more about setting up your tomato and basil tower. So let's talk about the first three levels. I'm not putting basil down at the bottom because the tomatoes will kind of overhang and they're just not gonna grow really well. And you can see that I would put in a tomato here, basil, tomato, and you're kind of staggering the tomatoes. So as they go up and around the tiers, they're spaced out. Second level from the bottom, basil in there. This is a little beat up. You can actually take your basil, pinch off the back. That will create more growth from down there, you'll get more leaves. It'll be a little more bushy. These got beat up from being in the sun. And that's perfectly fine, water them in. So I have this level set up with some bigger tomatoes that get two to three feet, if you wanna call them bigger, uh, basil. And then this one here only gets 12 inches. I'm gonna do a lot of shorter tomatoes up top. When we get to this point, you can see we have the basil tomatoes rotating through. Soil's coming all the way up. You only need two bags, maybe three bags of the Pro Mix Premium Garden Mix to fill up something like this. These are seven gallons. If your tier system has less, you'll probably get away with two bags. If it's something like this, you'll probably need three bags. But remember, you can use this anywhere. After you're filled, water it in again. Really soak it in. And this will set up your vertical tower for success. And the reason I love growing vertically is this is like what, a two foot by two foot, three foot by three foot footprint. And I'm gonna be able to grow five tiers of six, 30 different plants in there. Once we get this done, we put on the next piece. This is the tray that catches water between the towers and the green stalk um, garden vertical towers. And then this you just set up by sitting it on the bottom and you just click right into here. And you have your next tier set up. <laughs> you have your next tier set up. Let's get this off of there. So let me fill this and we'll start tier number four. Now I often make my container mixes as that's the cheapest way to go, but I am using the peat moss, which is a ProMix product. Like I said, I've been with, working with those products for well over 10 years. It's, I mean, this is just a great mix. If you don't want to spend the time making it yourself, this is what I recommend. Mix in the fertilizer, press it in. Let me fill it the rest of the way and we'll get to the next planting. So we're now to level four. I put in some more basil. This is an African blue basil, this is I believe cinnamon basil, and this is a boxwood basil. There are dozens of different types of basil. You can start them from seed. We'll hit seeds uh, when we get to the top. Now these are dwarf tomatoes. They're also determined varieties, but these only get anywhere from 12 to 18 inches tall. This is a micro tom, this is a Siam hybrid, and this, uh, this one is a geranium kiss. I'm growing these on my own, so it's hard to find the 12 inch, 18 inch tomatoes at nurseries or anywhere actually. So just start them yourself. You don't have to start these indoors under lights. You can just put them in containers like this and move them in and out during the day, bring them in at night when it's colder and just drop them in place just like that. So the top tier, the top two tiers are just gonna have smaller tomatoes, won't be overweighted. These will be more cherry types. And down at the bottom, I have tomatoes that will be anywhere from three inches to six inches in size. 
and this will be a nice tomato tower. Let me finish this up, we'll get to the top. All right, so the tower's complete, and I'll show you uh, how to put seeds in, and then I'll show you the, uh, how the rest of the towers have been doing. Down here, I'm actually gonna put in two bush bean seeds. They will be able to grow through whatever tomato growth is there, so I'll get some green beans out of there. I found the best way to use the product is cut an X on the side with a knife, and then you can just pour it out that way. Looks like it's gonna take three and a half bags of the uh, premium organic garden mix to fill these, because these are much deeper po uh, pockets in a lot of vertical gardens. So we work our way up, like I said, heavier plants here, smaller plants here. And when you get to the top, it is a good idea to actually drop basil seeds and tomato seeds, because you don't want everything producing at the same time. You sort of want the tower to be giving tomatoes over a month, six week period. Same with the basil, you don't want it to get too big, begins to flower, flavor changes. So for seeds, pack down your container mix nice and tight. You want a great base. Just put in a small hole with your finger, maybe half an inch deep. Five basil seeds, two tomato plants, two tomato seeds. If two tomato plants come out, thin it to one. If all five basil seeds come up, just leave them in there. And I would just go around and do that. Two tomato seeds, five basil seeds all the way around water it in, and your tomato and basil tower is good to go. Now, this is gonna be an ongoing series. I'm gonna be doing a whole series on vertical gardening, a bunch of different episodes, and I just wanna show you how well they're doing. These are edible plants, edible flowers, greens, parsley. This is the lettuce that I planted up in the first video. It's doing really well. I've been harvesting that. We're gonna get 85 degrees today, 90 degrees tomorrow. So these are all gonna get watered in really well as soon as I'm done here. The pepper plants are doing fairly well. We got a frost, so some of them got beat up, but they're not doing so bad. I did push them out. Good news is for the next 10 days, there are no cold nights gonna be around. So I think I've got out of that freeze time or frost time really, where you're just worried that a frost could come in and kill off what you started. But we tend to like to push things out sooner than later. All the herbs are doing amazingly well. These are on their third season of being in the towers. And there you know, they're the coming The herbs out. are coming in in full force. They'll be absolutely delicious with the tomatoes. I highly recommend growing vertically. There are 30 pockets here. We're gonna get tons of tomato, tons of basil. If you don't like making your own container mix or you find it confusing, I highly recommend the premium organic garden mix from ProMix. You can use it again in the towers, in your containers, in your raised beds and as a seed starting mix. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll be doing a complete series on vertical growing. And please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.